What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be building my cousin BJ's Fido. So um, this is a ground up build. He bought the frame separate, all of the other parts separate. Um, yeah, just going to leave the stock seat because it's not a priority right now. But shout out to Gary Johnson from the Fido USA group for the frame, the fork, the wheels, oh, and the grab bar. Uh, you got the motor and the bag off AliExpress, the controller off AliExpress, the handlebar assembly, everything else off of Amazon. So, yeah, controller, motor, and battery. We're gonna not put put it out there for now. Um, what else I got to say? Let's get started. So this is the motor, it's a 72, 60 volt, 72 volt motor with the thicker phase wires, just a tactical bag, factory polished wheel, 160 mil rotors if I'm not mistaken, this is a 135 millimeter dropout, you see right here we gotta space the rotor out quite a bit, just so the rotor is closer to this brake, oh I gotta tighten this. We already went ahead and cut the neck before we painted the frame. The seat post was chopped prior to it being shipped. We're going to be modifying this. This is just a piece of Lexan that I cut for my bike previously, but it was just sitting around. So we're going to make this work on top of this. We're going to start with the front and work our way back. Um, this is just a 12 inch fork. It has compression bound and rebound and uh, air this is air instead of a spring so it's um you can adjust how stiff that would be or how stiff you want it we already went ahead and uh, put the handlebar assembly together um it's just a uh, low rise mountain bike bar surround throttle full mount stuff the typical stuff. Let's go ahead and take this apart. Bearing cup for the top, bearing cup for the bottom. These are sealed bearings instead of cup and race. Oop. Sealed bearings instead of uh, it being cup and race. So this is the cup. This is the bearing, just sits in like that. Inside of the bearing, there's a bevel. And then this has a bevel. So it just sits like that and yeah, that's about it. You take the top cup, sit it on top. <laughs> Massage it in. Perfect. You take the bottom cup, put it on the neck, put it on the stem, put the top cup bearings, slide this in. This is a threadless stem or whatever you guys want to call it, I don't know what it's called. Grab the top triple. Give it a few love taps. Tighten the top, but don't tighten the neck. Then we can go ahead and loosen the bottom. Grab one of these clamps. Just so we have pressure between the top and bottom before we tighten everything up. 
we can go ahead and tighten the bottom triple. putting the stock motor on here for now just to balance out the weight the stretch just got painted it's a five inch stretch it's actually still in the drying process so yeah we'll do that later but for now we'll just shove the stock motor on there all right so let's go ahead and put the handlebar on just need a couple of these spacers a couple, couple more of these spacers Oop. Completely forgot the flare, then a couple spacers, and then the handlebar. Perfect, actually. Just like that. So we'll make sure it's straight ish. Kind of hard because it's on the table, but we can always we can always adjust that later on down the road. For now, let's just tighten it down just a bit. And that's how the front's gonna look. Like slowly coming together. We're gonna to be putting the controller here. The bag is gonna be holding the battery. We're gonna be putting the controller right here. Fits perfectly between the frame. It's gonna be zip tying it. It doesn't need to be any fancy type of um, mounting brackets or whatever. And that way the controller can cool while we're riding. Okay, so we went ahead and mounted the controller, decided to run the wires through the frame off camera. It's nothing special, you just run it through, pull it through, whatever. Um, so yeah, we got the stretch. It's gonna be like this. Just like that. We're gonna temporarily mount it, mock it up, drill the rest of the holes so we can run M6 screws instead of M5. So we're gonna run an M6 screw, backing it to lock it in place instead of running an M5. We're gonna be using this M5 screw just to hold it into place where it would be. Straighten it out. There's a lot of paint in this hole, so. Install this. 10 mil bolt already. Same process with the other side, mount it up, 
Get it as even as I can. Drill and tap, and we can go ahead and mount the, mount the motor. Let's get this motor installed. Unfortunately, this brake line is too short, about six inches. So I'm having BJ stop by the bike shop after he's done with work so he can grab the brake line. And I can finish the bike tomorrow afternoon. But in the meantime, we're just gonna be doing everything else. All right, so we got the battery in 72 volts from, from Lone Star Electric, 72 volts, 24 amp hour, 100 amp continuous discharge and 200 amp burst. The battery is going into this bag. Then we're shoving the bag back in here. Hopefully there's no fitting problem, <laughs> but yeah. The final touches, well besides the besides the fenders and the underglow. We're gonna be shoving some of this foam in this bag just so the battery sits nice and uh, cozy. Oh, this thing is heavy. Moment of truth. Get in there. Perfect fit. We're also going to be adding some foam on both sides so the battery doesn't uh, move side to side. This is the battery, the power cable. Shove all of these back into here. This is the uh, Bluetooth and all of that. This is the voltmeter, head and tail light button, and key. But here it is, Project Copperhead. Oh, something's wrong with this throttle, dude. What? What? That's so weird. What the hell?
What's wrong with this Dorado? Project Copperhead is done on the um, semi-maiden voyage. We had some throttle issues. Uh, come to find out the freaking black, the ground in the throttle was um, cut for some reason. That's so dope. That thing came out sick. Oops. Snapped a few pictures. We're gonna finish up this stroll. Just right around the neighborhood. I'll just end the video here. We're heading back already. Um, but yeah. You guys know the deal like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content and i'll see you guys in the next one shoots